Hey guys, it's Fancy and you're watching The Good Vibes Now. Today we're exploring a groundbreaking medical discovery that changed everything for the Blanchard family. The identification of the 1Q21 microdeletion syndrome in 2008, Gypsy Rose Blanchard's official diagnosis in 2011, and new evidence that sheds light on her understanding of her condition. These revelations challenge the widely accepted narrative about Dee Dee and Gypsy's story. In 2008, the medical world identified the 1Q21.1 microdeletion syndrome for the very first time, a rare chromosome disorder linked to developmental delays, motor impairments, and psychiatric vulnerabilities. Before this discovery, families and doctors alike struggled to explain the symptoms associated with the condition, leaving many in a state of medical limbo. For Gypsy Rose and Dee Dee, this breakthrough came too late to spare them from years of uncertainty. Now, born in 1991, Gypsy exhibited developmental delays and health challenges that doctors couldn't fully explain. Her mother, Dee Dee, became her strongest advocate, taking her to countless specials in search, specialists in search of answers. While Dee Dee was often accused of fabricating Gypsy's illnesses, the reality was far more complex. Just four years after the microdeletion was discovered in the medical world, in 2011, Gypsy was officially diagnosed with the 1Q21.1 microdeletion syndrome. This discovery validated much of what Dee Dee had been fighting for. The disorder explained many of Gypsy's developmental and cognitive challenges and even her heightened emotional and psychiatric struggles. This discovery, we believe, could be the catalyst for Gypsy's delusion that her mother was abusing her. In 2011, she tried to run away with a 35-year-old married felon, Dan Glidewell. After being prevented, she unloaded a BB pew pew into her mother 10 times, a violent act her mother covered for yet again. Ignoring the dangers of Gypsy's mental health, Dee Dee continued to focus on her physical health challenges. That same year, Gypsy claimed she was addicted to her mother's opioids, sent lewd pictures to her estranged father, and wrote a post on her secret Facebook page blaming him for ruining her life. And when confronted by her stepmother, Christy, about it, they blamed it on Aaliyah. She also began telling men she was being abused, all markers of Gypsy not wanting to accept her diagnosis and beginning to convince herself and others she wasn't sick at all. New evidence from a recently released FOIA request adds another layer to the story. In 2014, Gypsy sent a text message to her friend Aaliyah stating that she had been diagnosed with the chromosome disorder. In the text, Gypsy admitted that the condition was the cause of all her medical issues and expressed happiness that she was finally stable. These messages uncovered in Nick Godijan's case files following his exhausted state level appeals further confirmed that both Gypsy and Dee Dee understood the true nature of her condition. Despite this understanding, the focus remained on Gypsy's physical health, leaving her mental health largely unaddressed. The emotional isolation, untreated psychiatric symptoms linked to this disorder, and the toxic dynam dynamics between mother and daughter culminated in the tragic events of 2015 when Gypsy conspired with Nick Godijan to murder Dee Dee. The 2008 discovery of the 1Q21.1 microdeletion syndrome, Gypsy's 2011 diagnosis, and her 2014 acknowledgement of the condition challenged the simplistic narrative of abuse. Instead, they reveal a mother navigating an impossible medical mystery and a daughter who struggled with complex, untreated issues. 
Thanks for watching. We will be diving more into these types of subjects. And if you would like more information and to know more about the study done in 2008, head over to the Good Wives Network and check out our latest blog. Have a good one from the Good Wives, serving up true crime, one dish at a time. Bye, guys. Mwah.